Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to present our work, Causal Graph OD, Continuous Treatment Effect Modeling in Multi-Agent Dynamical Systems. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the United States announced many policies to prevent its spread. However, accurately assessing the impact of each policy has been challenging. Traditional predictive models often struggle to distinguish between correlation and causality, leading to potentially misleading conclusions. For instance, mask mandates are typically introduced during surges in COVID-19 cases, and may be paused when the number of cases decrease. Thus, the model could wrongly suggest that mask wearing indicates increasing number of COVID-19 cases. However, we know this is wrong. This is a classic example of confusion between correlation and causality. While predictive models might associate the masks with the rising cases, the reality is that masks are a response to, not a cause of, increased spread. Hence, it's crucial to apply causal inference to understand the true effect of policies. In, in addition, the collection of regions plays a significant role in the spread of COVID-19. The increasing case rates in the neighboring states, such as Oregon and Idaho, can reach predictive of future trends in adjacent areas like Washington and California. Here comes our model, causal graph ODE. The model adopts the encoder ODE decoder architecture to capture the continuous interaction among agents. CH ODE can perform causal reasoning by injecting treatment effects into the ODE functions, which we call the treatment induced coupled graph ODE. The multi treatment effects are captured by a normal treatment fusing module that assigns temporal weights to the treatment using an attention mechanism. As time dependent confounders can result in a biased distribution of treatment assignments and imbalance interference due to the evolving graph structure, CHOD utilizes two of the several learning losses to ensure unbiased estimation of counterfactual outcomes. We can see that our model achieves superior performance on both COVID 19 dataset and tumor growth, growth dataset across all prediction nouns. We also conduct a case study to show the impact of different COVID 19 policies. Specifically, we consider four different policy intervention methods. First, we focus on the removal of policies in three states, which all lead to an increase in the confirmed cases. We then explore the effect of changing the starting time of policy. When announcing the policy earlier, we observe a decrease in the 30 confirmed cases in the future. Next, we analyze the impact of the most frequent policies by removing them separately. All removal leads to a higher number of cases. Finally, we study the effect of different orders in the policy announcement. We found that initializing the announcement of no public ga gathering early generally contributed to the re reduction in the spread of COVID-19 compared with no travel from outside states. That's all for today. Thank you very much for listening.